All right, making a quick target run. Let's see what's on the shelves. A little bit uh, messy, but tons of Topps Chrome. Prism basketball that hasn't moved. Select basketball hasn't moved. Just NBA, this stuff has been sitting here. Uh, we got some school retail packs. Nothing too crazy in that section, but over here, we've got the select draft picks. Mega box. Definitely not buying that. Looks like we've got some of the new complete sets here. Definitely not buying that. So yeah, decent restock. What's going on, retail gang? Thanks for stopping by the channel. You saw what they had at my Target. I don't know if this made the video clip because I kind of found it after I stopped recording behind some other stuff this shelf was kind of a mess but anyway they had plenty of regular chrome and then they had probably i don't know eight or so of these as well as complete sets was new in the uh select draft pick mega boxes so this is my first time opening this product i didn't i didn't even open last year's uh seen a lot of of uh videos of these seems to be that there are lots of parallels in here uh, which is always a good sign. I'm glad they did that. But on the flip side of that, it's a 500 card set. So getting a good parallel might be somewhat difficult. But these cards are these cards look nice. Quality control seems to be pretty good. 30 bucks at Target, 35 at Walmart. I really like the uh, the packaging. So here we go. This is 2022 product, the last product for that year. Super late. I don't remember why. Uh, going back to uh, the parallels, I saw a post on Twitter that the print run of all the parallels is over 1 million. So put that in perspective of... Uh, how much there really is but hey definitely take parallels over base stuff any day lots of uh old players current and uh yeah just a huge checklist 1953 design i like the i like the 53 design One thing that does just kind of look odd is, uh, I mean, they're just portraits for the most part, and I mean, the imagery is kind of, I don't know what you would call that, cartoonish maybe. They do feel really nice. Carl Yastrzemski. Babe Ruth. Noah Syndergaard. Speaking of Babe Ruth. Uh, 23 Bowman Chrome pre-orders dropped today. Uh, they're, they have included this year Bowman first for uh, old players like uh, Clemente and uh, Babe Ruth, I believe. So, interesting idea. Not sure how I feel about it. We'll see what the market says. Gavin Sheets Refractor, Wainwright, and Mark Colosvery. Probably butchered that name. A lot of rookies in here that I have not heard of from last year. And uh, I don't know if they're even... If they made the roster this year or not. Seems to be having uh, some flipped over cards quite a bit here. McGill. IKF. Burt Blylevin. Trevor Rogers. So we're getting a good mix of former and current players i feel like they could have probably cut this checklist down even more uh last year was 700 which was another reason i didn't buy any Cattell Marte, jose ramirez luke williams pedro martinez i've seen people getting at least like two parallels 
per blaster. Hopefully uh, we can do that. We've only got three packs left. Ah, come on. My Walmart got a lot of these in last week. And uh, they were sold out this week. I didn't expect to find any at Target. We do have a uh, parallel coming up. So, hey, we'll hold on to that. Keep it interesting. We got another parallel. So, hey, there's our two parallels. Let's see if we can get a third here. It's like maybe a prism back there, and I'm not sure what this flipped over card is. It's a Brooks Robinson. Buster Posey. Gary Sheffield in the Marlins uniform. Jeff Bagwell. On the uh, prism refractor. Alright, we got two parallels coming up. Let's start with the blue one. I don't think those are numbered. Cedric Mullins, Altuve, there's a Julio, let's get a sleeve on him, I guess let's, uh, is this backwards, it is, it's not backwards, it's upside down, let's see who this is, Nationals rookie, uh, pitcher, who in the world would that be, drawing a blank, that's why, Mason Thompson, that's why I couldn't think of it. Because I don't know who Mason Thompson is. We'll put him in the hit pile along with uh, this Julio. So let's go on over here to this uh, Aqua. We'll pull from the back. We've got a prism back here. Nolan Arenado. Mariano Rivera. Alright, here it is. I wonder if it's upside down as well. Nope. Colorado Rocky. Who do we want? Hmm. Last year's product. Did they have any good rookies? That's not a rookie, so that eliminates that. Let's go with Larry Walker or Todd Helton. How about third base outfielder? Chris Bryant. Not who we want. Numbered out of 299. Well, I guess we'll sleeve that up. This box wasn't the greatest. We did get two parallels, but I knew with it being a big set, getting somebody relevant would be difficult. What is this? Aqua Lava, maybe? The card looks nice and it feels nice, so we got a base Julio, so I guess this is he's obviously the uh top rookie in the set. And then we got this blue of Mason Thompson. I'll run back through these and see if there's anybody I overlooked. I mean we did get some prisms, you know, Bagwell's a Hall of Famer. Arenado, eh. There's Bagwell. As far as any other big rookies. I mean, you get some Hall of Famers, too. Refractor, Gavin Sheets, Babe Ruth. So, yeah. Nothing uh, that's going to wow us, but they gave us two parallels, so we had a chance. So, there it is. Blaster box of 22 Tops Chrome Platinum. Will I buy another one? Hmm, probably not. I will probably just spend the extra five bucks and get a uh, 23 Chrome from Target. So, anyway, that is going to wrap it up for today's video, y'all. Appreciate y'all stopping by. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Good luck out there, and we'll catch you on the next one.